Hello from Bali. This week, I'm gonna to try to become a top 1000 Catan player in the world in five days. I cleared my whole schedule this week because I believe we can make things happen really quickly. We can get good at things very fast and I hope to prove it to myself and to everyone watching. And so I appreciate you for coming on this journey and let's make it happen. So I started my journey with a four hour learning binge where I consumed every great YouTube video I could find. And I read this awesome book called Catan Strategy by Mark Oxer. And those are really helpful and just help me to understand how do the best people in the world think about this game. And while I'm not gonna go really deep into the strategy in this video, I will say four wheat and development cards super important but if you want to go really deep then there is going to be a link in the description here where you can learn from me and learn everything that i've learned so i'm a little over an hour into my Catan learning binge i've learned a lot and my girlfriend just came back from a spa treatment Lori, how are you feeling about my Catan binge right now i am believing in you baby that is support and probably some indifference i'm Aww. sure Katana child's game. It's an adult's game, babe. Katana is for adults. So after spending a while learning, I pulled two all-nighters in a row to gain as much experience and win as many games as I possibly could. It was pretty fucking exhausting, but it was also kind of wild. And for context, like I started with a rating of about 1150 and a ranking of 15,000, and I needed to get into the top 1,000. To get there, I needed to get to a rating of 1,300. So on day one, or should I say night one, I played 16 games, I won four, lost three, finished in the middle in nine. So it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. And I just learned a lot. I got to play a lot of games. And then day two, I'll let my groggy sleep deprived self explain it to you. You sleeping? What time was it? 8.39 AM. <laughs> I just came off a, uh, <laughs> like a 13, 14 hour binge of Catan. <laughs> I won a lot of games, so I'm like very much in, in the grasping reach <laughs> of 1,000. I'm starting to play with a lot of players in top 1,000. I played with a guy who's in the top 50. Tomorrow night, maybe I get there. I've been really intense about learning and then about taking notes of all the game, like reflecting in every game what happened, why did I win, why did I lose, what could I have done better? Now that I understand a lot of the strategy, I need to just keep getting reps and, and playing better players and the more games i win the better the players i play against i'm getting there i'm stoked <laughs> ah! on day three i started losing a lot of games all the momentum that i had gained in the first two days well i gave a lot of it back and it really sucked and the primary culprit the reason behind all of this was really just my sleep deprivation i started making a lot of dumb dumb errors and just making silly mental mistakes. And it was really a lesson for me of, you can only push it so far and the sleep will catch up to you. I thought I was gonna smash into the top thousand way early. We're now about 52 hours left, 53 hours left in the challenge. And I still have a long way to go. Essentially halfway, but halfway rating wise, but not, not halfway with my success. But. I fucking believe, like, I know I can do this. I know this can happen and I just gotta push through. I'm fucking tired, I'm stressed, but I got this, I got this. I know I can fucking do this. On day four, things just continued to go south and I gave up all of the gains I made on the first two days, almost getting to the goal. I went all the way back, almost to the starting line which was really difficult, but that's just what happened. I think this is me being so tired that I messed the time up, but I have 24 hours left in the challenge, 23, 22 and a half now to be exact, but I have to sleep. I decided I'm, I took the afternoon and night off because I was just playing bad, making dumb mistakes, dumb mistakes, blowing games. I'm sleep deprived. I mean, I've literally slept let's say 10 hours in the last like three days. My brain is not functioning well. So I need to rest and then tomorrow I go hard and I, I nail this. Day five didn't get a whole lot better, but I did make a key realization in how I could change things and change my luck. Okay, so it is currently 8.19. 
two hours past the deadline. Spoiler alert, I haven't hit it, but I'm also not giving up. So here's the way the ratings work, if you don't understand. If you win, you gain rating. If you come in last, you lose a lot of rating. And if you come in second or third or somewhere in the middle, you basically stay neutral. And so what I've realized, because there's a lot of luck in this game, you can't win every game. And for the first four, basically the first five days, I was trying to win every game. And what happened is sometimes I would come in last. And so what I've realized that I need to do actually is optimize for not coming in last. And sometimes I'll win and sometimes I'll finish in the middle. But as long as you don't come in last, you'll continually move up the rankings. I am not giving up. I It's 8.20 p.m. I got another all-nighter in me tonight. So I went up from 11.50 to 12.40, came back to 11.80. I had this new strategy. Let's try it. Let's see if I can get to 1,300. And with that key strategy shift, the next two days went a lot better. And while I missed the actual goal of five days, I started to win more games and things progressively got better and better and better. And then I won four games in a row. And then on the fifth game, I'll let you see it for yourself. So I think this might be it. Is this it? Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Woo! So as you've seen, I did it. I made it. It feels amazing. I can now get some sleep and rest. Some, some takeaways, number one. I'm a little tired of Catan, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's a great social game because of the luck factor and because of the dynamic nature of the game. As a game to go really deep on, I don't like how much luck there is. So I think the next challenge you'll see me do will be with something like chess. Number two, I need some sleep. Number three, I definitely need a more comfortable chair, but this is fun. I appreciate you coming along the journey with me. I hope you took away as I did that we can learn basically anything we want to in really compressed periods of time. We just have to go all out. But I think the core principles are pretty simple of what are the best people in the world do and how did they learn and what do they think about this? Number two, how do I get a lot of experience? I read a book from one of the best Catan players in the world. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and then I played a ton. And then I was really maniacal about taking notes and logging what was happening and my thoughts and evolving my strategy. And so I think those principles apply to anything that you wanna learn. And I challenge you to get out there and give yourself a tight deadline to learn something specific, whether it's software engineering, knitting, writing, drawing, make a hard goal, set a timeline and go make it happen. And so cheers from my bedroom to yours. Thanks for being along the journey with me. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more of these. And if you wanna join my Catan course, which I'm launching, you'll find it in the description. So thank you, have a good one. Appreciate you.